Despicable Me 4 is now playing in theaters seven years since its predecessor, the third film, obviously. Going in, I wasn't expecting anything great. I didn't particularly find any of the trailers interesting or good for that matter. It just felt like every other Illumination film, every other Despicable Me film. And what I got was, for the most part, exactly that. It's fun. It's enjoyable enough. There's some genuinely funny jokes here and there. But it just feels like we've done this before and better at that. Starting off, the family dynamic is still one of the best parts about this franchise and this film in particular. It's just fun to see everyone interact with each other, and the addition of the baby Gru Jr. was pretty cute. The animation is solid. It's not Pixar level or Spider-Verse level, but Illumination creates these more cartoony-esque worlds in their films rather than being photorealistic or like a comic book, which is fine. It's respectable. The new characters are okay. The villain, I forgot his name, it's like Maxim, Max, uh, I, forgot, I forgot his name fully, because he was just very forgettable. He was insanely boring, but I sort of guessed that from the trailers because it's a giant cockroach dude. We've seen things like this in this franchise before, in Illumination before. It's meant to be a joke for the youngest possible audience, and I kind of respect the fact that we're still getting movies aimed directly to young, young children because not everything can be Pixar level, not everything can be, I don't know. Toy Story or Inside Out or whatever. Moving into the negatives, they're pretty self-explanatory. This is as generic as a plot as, it, as you can imagine for this type of franchise. The villain feels the same as the countless others we've seen in this specific franchise. Though there's one specific scene in a jail cell which was actually pretty decent with how it's used its villains. I'm not gonna spoil it, but it was like one of the best parts about the entire film because it's so silly, it's so stupid that you can't help but enjoy it. It's, it's, it's really fun. You'll, you'll see it when you once you see this film, if you see this film. The actual story has very clear parallels to the third film in terms of how the third act actually plays out. There's a dance battle in like every single one of these and there's another one in this one at the end of the film. Uh, it's something we've seen before. Again, something being overused doesn't necessarily have to mean that it's bad. It just means there's nothing unique or special about it. For a film that's advertising the Mega Minions, these super power, like Fantastic Four-esque minion parody things, for a film that's advertising them, they made like a fake cinematic universe with them, which I found kind of funny. They don't play as big a part as you would expect. I mean, they're in it, there's some good jokes containing them, but they're cool enough, but they're also kind of whatever. They didn't really do much in the grand scheme of things. They don't add much to the story other than a few laughs here and there. Despicable Me 4 doesn't deliver anything offensively bad, but nothing remarkable or all that interesting to this franchise. I think all these films are pretty much the same in terms of visual look, storytelling, and character development. It's fine. Character development, I mean, it's it's, it's the same little lesson that they give kids every single uh, episode. I was going to say episode, which brings me to another point. This should turn into a TV show at this rate, because this film felt like six movies mashed into one. There's so many plot lines, and I don't think the film has enough time to really present all of them. Again, it's not a bad film. It's quite entertaining. There's some fun jokes here and there. I think the kids will love it. But, again, it's just kind of a forgettable throwaway film that I definitely won't remember by the end of the year in the conversation of best animated films of the year, especially considering we got Inside Out 2 just a few weeks ago. So, again, not bad, but not great.